Hey there, Christ United Deacon Ministry team. Pastor Brett here. Obviously, I'm sitting at the altar in our sanctuary. I uh, just wanted to record a few minutes, kind of the monthly training video, uh, looking actually forward, uh, not past September, but into October for our uh, 21 days of prayer and fasting coming up uh, October 13th through November 3rd, I believe it is. There's 21 days we're setting aside uh, the theme for this year. Uh, if you weren't with us last weekend, we announced this zeteo, an impressive Greek word. It means to seek in order to find. Uh, Jesus said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things, whatever that is, those all things are, will be added unto you. And that word seek, it means that you seek in order to find. And so we're going to spend 21 days praying and fasting during that time individually and as a congregation. And, and stay tuned to the bulletin for the specifics about that. Uh, what we're going to be doing on Wednesday nights as far as praying together and, uh, with our grow groups and stuff like that. But I just wanted to encourage you as a leader at uh, Christ United and the Deacon Ministry team. I just want to encourage each one of us. Uh, I'm going to be asking each of our leaders to, uh, uh, as I follow up with them prior to our time of fasting, to uh, let me know how it is that they plan on participating uh, as far as their setting aside time during those 21 days and as far as they're setting aside certain things in their lives. You know, there's full fast where you don't eat anything or drink anything. There's partial fast where you let some things go. There are fasts that have a uh, uh, nothing to do with uh, eating or drinking like me being a diabetic I got to watch what it is that I don't eat and so fasting away from such things as social media or news or whatever and so I'm going to ask each one of our leaders to commit uh, to something that way and then let me know and the reason being is that uh, you know if we are asking our body to join together in praying and fasting then we as leaders need to be doing the same and, and uh, A.O. Bledsoe God bless his memory spoke something to me years ago he said that which you expect you must also inspect and so I'm just going to ask you to set that aside and I'll be following up with you but I want to read a verse this morning uh, to you that I read this morning in my devotion that I prayed for a church in this time because our, our goal is to seek the Lord and he will be found but I'm reading in first Kings uh, chapter 18 verse 37 and Elijah says to the prophets as he's laying down this challenge he says this Hear me, O Lord, hear me, that this people may know that you are the Lord God and that you have turned their hearts back to you again. Hey, God's not going to be impressed by whatever it is you give up over these 21 days or don't. That's not going to move his heart. What moves his heart is when his people move towards him. But then what moves our heart is when God moves our heart. And so I'm just encouraging each one of you to be prayerful and consider what it is, how it is that you're going to join in with the congregation during Zeteo beginning October uh, 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 yeah, 13th, I think it is. Yeah, 21 days of prayer and fasting. So, hey, God bless you. Uh, talk to you soon. Bye now.